Wow, Ubisoft just dropped some really big news. Favela and Yacht will both be removed from the game, at least for now. We also see a brand new map pool for ranked to reflect the ESL Pro League map pool and this will be separate from the casual map pool. So Rainbow Six Siege was released with 10 maps. Then we got 5 DLC maps plus the Brawler at University as a bonus. And now we soon also get the theme park map. So that makes it a total of 17 maps when theme park is released. But Ubisoft took the big decision to remove two maps and also set different map pools for casual and ranked. All this will go live when the season 3 starts with the release of the new DLC. If the maps are removed for good, we're not sure. This is how Ubisoft wrote. Additionally, some of the maps that are removed will be reworked by our level design team. To be clear, not all maps that are removed from casual players will be reworked, but some of them will be over the course of the year to come. So we'll see if we get a comeback from any of the map or if they are gone for good. Worth noting is that both maps is DLC maps. We will see if any of them gets reworked and returned, but my personal guess is that Favela will be back since it's a much more dynamic map and can be played in more ways since Yacht is pretty limited since most walls, floors and ceilings are not breachable. Then if we look at the new map pools, we can start with Casual. In Casual you can play Bank, Clubhouse, Oregon, Cafe, Consulate, Chalet, Border, Coastline, Skyscraper, Canal, Hereford Base, Barlet University, House, Plain and Theme Park. But if you want to play ranked, there's some pretty big changes coming your way. If we include the two maps that will be removed all and all from the game, a total of 8 maps will be removed from ranked play. This is to reflect the ESL Pro League playlist. The maps that you will be able to play in ranked from season 3 is Bank, Clubhouse, Oregon, Cafe, Consulate, Chalet, Border, Coastline and Skyscraper. Ubisoft's biggest reason to make this change is since it's a pretty steep learning curve with so many maps for new players. Just imagine if you're brand new to this game and you have 17 maps to learn from scratch and all maps are pretty dynamic, big, huge, complex. It's a tough challenge for them, so this is to lower the learning curve for new players. And the change for the ranked playlist is to make sure that people who want to play ranked and competitive can learn the maps even deeper. Also, for the ranked and competitive scene, they want to make sure that the teams, squads, individual players can learn all the maps in a much deeper level if they limit how many maps are being played. And the new map is avoided the first season here to eliminate any bug they don't want to see in the ranked and competitive scene. All in all, I think this is wonderful news. If we take and separate these two news and break it down. So the first thing to remove two maps is a very good decision according to me. I think definitely this is the right way to go. Some maps don't hold up to the standard. For example, Yacht house and plane that's three maps that are very limited compared to for example border and skyscraper that's also newer maps and i think they want to go more in the direction of border and skyscrapers that are so dynamic and can be played in so many ways what i think saved house and plane this time is just how popular they are among the players but if you come up to ranked play they're very hard to play because they're so unbalanced if you ask me i think plane is the next map to go of course, we can always have the debate on what map should be removed, what should stay, and I would guess that every single one watching this video would pick two different maps they want to get removed, so I would skip that debate, but on a personal level, I enjoy Favela, even if it's a bit unbalanced, but Yacht is one of the worst maps in the game according to me. Second, the news about the separate map pools for ranked and casual. I think also this is a very good change. With only 9 maps in the ranked map pool, individual players, your friends and squads and teams, you can learn the map on a much deeper level. Partly because you play these maps even more. And this also encourages people to go in with their friends in a custom game on an empty map and just learn it. And learn every wall bang, learn strats, learn how to hold it, set up a defense. If it's only 9 maps in the rank pool, it's more likely that you will play that map, 
so you get a bigger reward for actually going in and setting a strat for your team. But if you have the 17 map pool, even if you start to do strats for one, two, three maps, the chances are you can go a full night with even playing in once. So I think this is a good way to make to raise the level of play even in ranked because all the people will know the maps inside out on a whole new level than if the 17 map pool will stay in. Then you always have casual if you want to play all the maps and I think it's pretty fun that even maps that I personally don't like like house and plane are still there on casual but one thing I am missing is theme park in ranked. The reason they choose not to have the new theme park map in the ranked pool is because they're unsure if there are any bugs there and they don't want any bugs in the maps to ruin the ranked and competitive scene. I understand that decision, but personally I would like to see the new map in the ranked pool without any bugs. But if that's not possible, it's a wise decision to leave it in the casual map pool for a season to make sure we clear every bug out, make sure everybody learned the map and then lift it in in the ranked pool. They also say that these map pools will change season to season. So this is nothing that is set in stones. So next season we'll see some shift in what maps are in casual ranked and if any maps get removed or put back in the game. What do you think of this new map change? Are you going to miss favela or yacht? Let me know down in the comments and if you don't already do, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will be back tomorrow with a pro league match breakdown from the quarterfinals of the pro league final. So I will see you then.